You get a lot of emails about a vegan or vegetarian diet on the ketogenic diet and finding the two. Um, what are your thoughts on those protocols? Uh, it's possible. So a vegetarian ketogenic diet is pretty easy, right? Because you have uh, dairy and eggs to work with and that that's pretty easy. Uh, actually, I didn't have any meat today. So uh, it was actually four days ago I stopped eating meat. <laughs> Not, not in, is sort of unintentional. I uh, attended a conference where it was more hosted by uh, a person that you know uh, coordinated the food to be vegetarian. So, so this is my vegetarian kind experiment. of experiment. <laughs> I just kind of got thrust into it, uh, and I will be training uh, later today or tomorrow. So I'll be able to see if it affects my strength at all. Uh, but and it was kind of challenging being ketogenic. So. On a vegetarian ketogenic diet, what I would advocate maybe intermittent fasting. So it's difficult to follow a vegetarian or vegan meal plan where you're eating multiple times throughout the day and entering a state of ketosis. So people who are managing certain things like epilepsy or maybe uh, even part of cancer therapy, um, you can do a vegan and vegetarian ketogenic diet, but it, it's it's definitely more difficult um, and. And I think I get a lot of questions uh, regarding performance too on a vegetarian ketogenic diet. And uh, I absolutely uh, think that there should be no problem because egg and dairy can make up a lot. Uh, dairy is kind of questionable, but eggs, uh, eggs alone can make up more than enough protein. Uh, and then if you mix your foods properly, you can, you can get adequate meal plans. Uh, any other comments? There's a lot of plant-based oils and fat sources. I yeah. think it would be heavily reliant on oils. Um, so you'd be you would want to be con cognizant of avoiding like vegetable oils and yeah. soybean oil, corn oil, the processed industrial seed oils. Um, but I think you could get some really high quality yeah. oils. And then yeah, protein. I might have to rely on powdered protein just for vegan. Yeah, yeah especially. For vegan. So the pea protein and hemp and maybe rice protein, so in different blends, are making it possible for uh, vegans, uh, even for medical uh, reasons, to follow a vegan ketogenic diet and to get the protein that they need. Uh, but on a ketogenic diet, it's kind of lower protein than kind of a Western diet, so you don't really need to supplement too much, but it can be helpful. Yeah, because a lot of plant protein sources come in combination with carbohydrates, so yeah. there's the challenge. But it's definitely doable, and you just have to figure out uh -huh. what food sources you can choose. So, yeah. And I'm watching the movie Game Changers. I'm about halfway through it, and then I think we'll do a, a little in another video. We'll we'll talk about the 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 movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right.